Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island. We're in the International House of Mojo, and we're going to be looking at this little, uh, well, little big hand on the floor. Hmm, this table must have been a hand-me-down. <laughs> very good. The humour in this game is very, very good, actually. For a pinky finger, it's quite large. It is indeed. If that's a ring finger, I'd hate to see the size of the ring. <laughs> Alright, uh, we're going to have to get around here a bit more. Ah, the middle finger. The most communicative of fingers. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, I can see that. <laughs> Alright, we've got... This finger seems slightly different than the others. Huh, interesting. And we've got this thumb here. That's quite a thumb. It is quite a thumb. Alright, well let's see what happens if we... Uh... If I want to point at something, I'll use my own index finger. Let's see what happens if we use this different finger. Yikes! You pull. Look who hey, it is. Hey, it's you! Yes, it is I. You seem to show up whenever I'm in trouble. Yeah. Why? Who can say? Perhaps it's because we share an unspoken magical bond. Perhaps the fates have intertwined our destinies. Or maybe I've got an unbreakable five-game deal with Lucas. Uh. <laughs> in any event, I'm here to help. How can I assist you, Guybrush 340? Uh, I don't know what to do next. Do you have any nifty voodoo googams that could help me? Uh, I thought we'd chat for a while, catch up on old times. My mystic eye sees precious time wasted in idle chit chat. What well, would come you on. like to know? Um, didn't you relocate to the island of Puerto Pollo? Didn't you relocate to the island of Puerto Pollo? I did, but I sensed that I was needed here on Melee. Besides, the incessant clucking on Puerto Pollo was driving me mad. It was mad. a bit annoying, yeah. Um, did you really move your thing to be back near me? Did you really move your thriving voodoo emporium back to Melee Island just to be near me? Yes, but perhaps my voodoo senses were on the fritz. <laughs> Alright. Why is Melee so empty? Why is Melee Island so empty? That is an excellent question, Guybrush. I thought so. <laughs> well, what? Why is Melee Island so empty? Oh, that. About <laughs> a month ago, a mysterious overseas investor began buying up all of Melee Island from the local pirates. Huh. Those that wouldn't sell have been challenged to various forms of insult games. Insult really? sword fighting, insult golf, insult darts, insult arm wrestling. You get the idea. Yeah. Strangely, this investor always wins. He's the best insulter the Tri-Island area has ever seen. Eventually, even the craftiest of Mele's pirates have been forced to sell after wagering their homes and businesses in ever-escalating rounds of insult gaming. How awful. Why don't the pirates just refuse to play? How many pirates do you know that can resist a duel? Good, Good point. point. In any event, there you go. the few pirates remaining on Melee Island live in constant fear of being challenged by this foreign investor. Hmm. All right, well, do you know anything more about the mysterious foreign investor? Do you know anything more about the mysterious foreign investor? Only that he comes from a far away exotic place called Sydney. <laughs> Sydney? That sounds like the name of a kid who gets beat up a lot in school. All right, well, you've helped me so much over the years, I don't know your name. You've helped me so much over the years, and I still don't know your name. My name is not important. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. What's your name? Do not taunt the fates, Threepwood. The truth of my name will be revealed when the time is right, and no sooner. Oh, all right, fine. I'd like to talk about more important matters. Like what? Um... I sense that you wish to dabble in the dangerous voodoo arts. What did you have in mind? Mm, have you got any of those evil destroying voodoo dolls? Have you got any of those evil destroying voodoo dolls? Sorry, we're fresh out. We're expecting a shipment from Dinky Island early next week though. Oh, okay, we'll come back. Um, how about one of those invisibility necklaces? How about one of those invisibility necklaces to help me sneak into women's locker rooms? Those are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Got any? No. It's been a bad year for unspoiled eyeballs. All right. And also, Guybrush, why do you want one of those? Um, do you have any plus 10 strength elixirs? Do you have any plus 10 strength elixirs in stock? Perhaps. What are your current stats? Uh, I don't think I've got any. Uh, well then, what good would a strength elixir do? I see your point. Yeah, that is a good point. Um, could really use a potion that make me immune to severe gas attacks. I could really use a potion that would make me immune to severe gas attacks. You're telling me. <laughs> Tragically, our shipment from Booty Island is also running late. All these shipments are very late. 
Uh, an enchanted sword? I'm in the market for an enchanted sword that hypnotizes my enemies into a deep stupor before I skewer them with it. Sounds you good. You don't need a sword to send your foes into a stupor, my child. Just be yourself. Gee, thanks. Oh, oh the sick burn. <laughs> Have you got any snacks? I'm starving. I left my gum machine in Puerto Pollo. You might want to try the scum bar if you're really hungry. All right, fine. On second thought, I probably shouldn't be shopping at a time like this. True. Uh, yeah, probably true. Um, I don't know what to do next. The we do. cards have foretold that you seek direction. Uh, how do I stop the weasel from hurling rocks at my house? How do I stop that weasel from hurling rocks at my house? What goes up must come down. But what's more important is where it comes down. Yeah, like on my house. <sighs> Ah, oh dear Guybrush. How do I get to Lucre Island? It's a fairly simple procedure. Get on your ship. But I don't have a ship. So find one. Must I draw you a map? Then assemble your crew. A crew? Where am I going to get a crew? Use this your brain. This is a pirate town. Even in these economically depressed times, you should be able to find a couple of competent sailors. Then sail to Lucre Island. But I don't know where to find Lucre Island. That's what navigators are for, Guybrush. I believe there's one in the scum bar. All right, fine. Actually, I think I can figure out what to do next all by myself. Very well. Yeah, after you've already told us. Um, yeah, let's go. I don't need any more of your enigmatic hoodoo right now. As you wish, Guybrush. I'll be here later if you need me. So as always in Monkey Island, we're going to need to get a crew. We're going to need a ship. And this time we need a navigator as well to get us a map. So let's head out. I mean, some of the visuals in this are not great. Uh, some of them look pretty cool, though. And, I mean, the soundtrack is fantastic. I, I think it might be up there as the best Monkey Island soundtrack, in my opinion. Um, the story's good as well, and the humour is great. I love the little witty puns and stuff. It's, it's underneath everything, the game is very good. It's just the aesthetics and the keyboard controls are horrible, basically. <laughs> Familiar-looking pirates. Ahoy there, fellow seafaring wastrels. Yes! <laughs> Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, you uh, startled us. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I startled. <laughs> um, you two look awfully familiar. You two look awfully familiar. Oh, we have very common-looking faces. Isn't that right? Oh, definitely. Can't swing a dead Chinook around here without hitting someone who looked like us. Mm. Didn't we run into each other last summer on Fat Island? Didn't we run into each other last summer on Fat Island? We've never been to Fat Island. And never in the summers. Mm, are we sure we haven't met? Are you sure we haven't met? Drop it, Threepwood. How'd hey, you know, how do you know my name? Doesn't everyone know the name of Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate? True, but I still think you guys look familiar. Um, hmm. Did we share a cruise to Monkey Island once yet? <laughs> We're going to do that one last. Aren't you the famous comedy team of Youngler and Munts? Youngler and Munts? Never heard of them. You haven't? But they're brilliant. They do this bit about how men leave the commode seat up and how women love to shop for boots. <laughs> He's going crazy. Well, I guess you had to be there. Apparently. Yeah, apparently. I could swear that I know you guys. I really don't think so. Dudes, aren't you the founding members of Keel Hall, the world's loudest pirate speed metal band? Not likely. Neither of us can carry a tune. Neither can Keel Hall. <laughs> I could swear that I know you guys. I really don't think so. Yeah, didn't we share a cruise to Monkey Island once? Didn't we share a cruise to Monkey Island once? I don't think so. Carla, make the bad man stop! <laughs> He's come to take us back to Monkey Island! Carla? Uh, who? You can't fool me. You're Carla, the Swordmaster of Melee Island, and you're Otis. I don't know what you're talking about. Let it go, Otis. The half witch recognized <laughs> us. I knew you guys looked familiar. You were two thirds of my original Monkey Island crew. Yeah. The crew you abandoned on Monkey Island, you mean? Do you have any idea how difficult it is to escape from Monkey Island? We're gonna find out. No. How difficult is it to escape from Monkey Island? <laughs> um. Well. It's really difficult. Yeah. The whole experience was very traumatizing. Scared us for life. Gee, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry doesn't feed the narwhals, buster. Yeah, so uh, what have you Repscallions been up to? By the way, this game makes it canon that you take out the ship with the, um, the rock slinging thing in Secret of Monkey Island. 
So, what have you rapscallions been up to? Ah, uh, where to begin? Uh, what have you been doing with yourself, Carla? What have you been doing with yourself, Carla? You mean, after I finally managed to escape from Monkey Island? That's the one. You're never gonna forgive me for that, are you? Not in this lifetime. <laughs> Anyhow, I've spent the last few years here on Melee Island re-establishing my Swordmaster credentials. Nice. Well, that sounds productive. Oh, it was, until that Australian showed up. Australian? Uh, yeah. An Australian real estate developer. He challenged me to a round of insult sword fighting. Badgered me into betting my house. It was over so quickly. <laughs> Gee. Now I wander the streets of melee and insult sword fighting for food. How sad. <laughs> it's quite sad. What about you, Otis? How about you, Otis? What have you been doing for the last few years? Well, after I finally escaped from Monkey Island, yeah, yeah. I made my way back to Melee Island where I tried to resume my former profession. Petty thievery? <laughs> I prefer to think of it as proactive redistribution of wealth. Unfortunately, the indignities I suffer on Monkey Island have left me so jittery that I cannot pick a lock or a pocket without making more noise than a flatulent hippo. What <laughs> vivid imagery. So how do you earn a living? Begging mostly. You'd oh. be amazed how many people will pay to hear the story of the innocent pirates who were betrayed by their idiot captain. Not how I remember it. Whatever happened to Captain Smirk, the sword trainer? Yeah. He sold his house to a foreign investor. But he didn't want to! The investor challenged him to a round of insult gin rummy and beat him. Smirk was so ashamed that he signed over the deed to his house on the spot and hopped the next ship out of Melee. The same story's been repeated dozens of times all over Melee Island. This slimy investor strolls into a pirate's house or place of business, challenges him to a game of insult something or another, then humiliates them so badly that they have to cave into his hostile takeovers. Haven't you noticed all the sword signs around here? Yeah, we did. All right, where's the third member of our old crew? Well, where's the third member of our old crew? You mean Meat Hook? Yeah. That's, That's a good question. After we finally got off Monkey Island, Meat Hook renounced his piratey lifestyle and returned to his true passion. Drinking? Painting. Huh. Painting? But the guy's got no hands. That's what we said. These stories are too depressing. Let's talk about something else. If we must. What are you drunk? <laughs> Only Guybrush could ask this after all of that. Won't you join my crew? For old time's sake. Guybrush. Take a good look at Otis. Monkeys! Monkeys is full of the monkeys! It's fine. That's what happened to him the last time we agreed to be part of your crew. Now, what in the name of Blackbeard's dandruff could possibly convince us to join you in another idiotic adventure? Well, how about... A brand new car. A brand new car! What? Sorry, I kind of got caught up <laughs> in the moment. Well, how about... <laughs> uh, treasure. Treasure. Boatloads of treasure. We're still waiting for the treasure you promised us the last time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, how about... Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, property? Some lovely property off the coast of Booty Island. Oh, that's rich. Everyone knows that a mysterious foreign investor has bought up all the real estate around Booty Island. Well, how about... Uh... <laughs> My undying and unconditional gratitude, baby. What was that? Were you coming on to me? No. Hey, I'm married. Then quit using your picking up Winch's voice. <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> Sorry. Well, how about... <laughs> picking up Winch's voice. <laughs> Cushy government jobs. Cushy government jobs. Everyone wants mm. one of those. That sounds interesting. Carla! What are you doing? What kind of cushy government jobs are we talking about? You know, the kind where you're paid three times the going private sector rate, no one checks your work, and it's impossible to be fired. Don't listen to him, Carla. He just wants to take us back to Monkey Island. No, we don't. We want contracts, of course. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Be seeing ya. Not if we see you first. <laughs> Luckily, we know the person who can help us with that, right? We happen to be married to them. Uh, what's through here again? Is this just another, like, teleport door? I think it is. Brush. What are you doing here? Uh, looking for a bathroom? Quit fooling around and stop that cat fault. Oh no, it's not. Alright. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. It's kind of weird, like, how that works. I mean, they've always had the teleporting doors. Hey, look at this. Wow. That's one flexible merboy. Okay, this. Um, what's this way again? This takes up the screen. Yeah, it does. I, I do like the way the maps look on this game. I will say that. I think the maps in this game are, are very good, better than potentially the other games. So there's that as well going for it. I mean, this game does have a lot going for it, it's just visually after the Curse of Monkey Island it, you know, in my opinion is a bit of a letdown, but okay, what's this gate about? Oh, and the camera. This goes. Too bad it's locked. 
guess I'll never find out. I, I don't think we ever find out. I think I think that is true. The Scum Bar. Haven for the rowdiest bunch of drunken scallywags you'll ever see. Yeah, all right. Let's go into the Scum Bar. Everyone loves the Scum Bar. In we go. And we are in. And I'll tell you what, guys, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode because we are out of time. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul for the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coomadin, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, John Com 555, Chrissy, Paul James, and Zoltis. And I'll see you next time.